Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Well, are the days of uh, CM Punk and Daniel Bryan coming to a crossroads? Are the days of the smaller indie wrestlers that WWE has been signing as of late going to come to a screeching halt, coming to an end, so to speak? According to PW Insider, the WWE's focus is no longer on signing guys that of the stature and, and the body type of a CM Punk and a Daniel Bryan. WWE is more interested in the bodybuilders. WWE more interested in the bi the bigger, stronger athletes, um, the... the um, Superstars that, well, you know, here's the thing. I know there's going to be a lot of hate. I know there's going to be a lot of criticism. I know there's going to be a lot of backlash. Ah, oh, CM Punk can wrestle. Daniel Bryan's a great wrestler. You know, they can talk with the best of them. They're good on the mic. You know, they, they draw a good reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you gotta want, you got to look at this. You're looking at a long time vintage WWE fan. I mean, I'm only 25 years old, but I've been watching the product for a damn long time. And that's what the WWE was always built upon. WWE was always, always interested in the bigger type muscular um superstars because they got that look they got the power they got the strength they got the image i mean back in the day this isn't nothing new ladies and gentlemen this is nothing new the wwe has always favored the bigger stronger wrestlers the physique of a john cena the physique of a hulk hogan remember back in the day the don morocco's um, the Hulk Hogan's, the King Kong Bundy's, the bigger individuals, the, the, you know, the big show, the big show. That's why the big show is being positioned for a main event shot against uh, Randy Orton at the Survivor Series because the WWE is now um, putting more interest in the bigger, stronger individuals. Remember, even in the 80s, I'm trying to go back here. I just woke up, so give me some time here. Um... Hercules. I mean, there was another guy with a with a physique, the Ultimate Warrior. This is nothing new, ladies and gentlemen. The WWE has always been more focused on the bodybuilder, burlier, stronger athletes. That of a Kane, that of the Undertaker. The WWE sees those guys as an attraction. Now, yes, CM Punk and Daniel Bryan are indeed an attraction, but not the kind of attraction that the WWE wants to look forward to in the future. They want to sign the bigger, stronger wrestlers. And like I said, I have nothing wrong with that because I grew up in the WWE. In the, in the late 80s, the early 90s, I mean, I went back and watched tapes and DVDs and Blu-rays and what have you. And the WWE's main focus has always been about guys like that. And, you know, that's why, you know, guys like Hulk Hogan had his spot because he was big, big dude. John Cena in that spot, and, you know, Randy Orton's got the great physique that the WWE is looking for, and I mean, I'm not take, I'm not here to take anything away from indie wrestlers, I'm not here to take anything away from CM Punk and Daniel Bryan, but the bottom line is CM Punk and Daniel Bryan are very lucky, they are very lucky that they got the opportunity and the shot to shine in the WWE, because it's not every day that guys, the stature of a CM Punk and Daniel Bryan get the opportunity to make as much money and as much promise as the WWE has allowed them to make. The WWE has given CM Punk and Daniel Bryan an opportunity of a lifetime, but right now the WWE is shifting its focus away from indie guys and focusing on the bigger, stronger athletes. And like I said, I personally, I grew up on all that stuff. I have no problem with that, but I know a lot of marks, smarts, smart marks, whatever the frick you want to call them these days, are going to have a major problem with this, and that's fine, because you know what, at the end of the day, we can all agree to disagree, but the WWE has always been, and will always will be, a big man sport, because that's the way the WWE works, and that is how it operates. Subscribe with your comments and your opinions.